Alright, hey guys, how's it going? Um, if you guys have been keeping up with my videos, uh, I've been starting to get into a little bit of pellet guns and stuff. and just I, I've always been a hunter ever since I was able to walk. Before I was doing any paintball or motocross or anything, I was a hunter. Um, I still am. Um, but um, today right here, I have the uh, Benjamin Discovery. This is a PCP, which stands for Precharged Pneumatic. You fill this uh, gun up to 2,000 PSI. And to do that, you have right here the Benjamin pump. Uh, there's other pumps you can get out there on the market, um, like the Hill MK3 pump. That's supposed to be the best actual hand pump. Um, or you can get like a shoebox air compressor and or like a actual uh, compressed tank or scuba tank or whatever. You cannot use a shop tank, a shop air compressor, excuse me, you cannot use a shop air compressor to fill this gun up because this gun needs to be filled up to 2,000 PSI and an air compressor only goes up to 200 PSI. So that's a 10, I mean 10 times more you need to fill this gun up to that an air compressor cannot even, a uh, standard air compressor cannot even get close to. Um, so um, this gun right here I purchased off of Craigslist. Um, this gun, if you buy off of Pyramid Air brand new, uh, you buy it for $400. It comes with just the gun and the pump for a package for $400. I looked on my local Craigslist and I bought the gun and the pump for $300, almost like new in the box. The guy only shot it once or twice, and that's a heck of a deal. That is, that is a sneaking steal right there. Um, but, uh, right there it comes with a nice, really, really nice wooden stock. Um, it's got a nice kind of raised up che cheek piece and a uh, nice foregrip area. Um, right here I have mounted on top is the BSA 3x9x40 scope. It's adjustable objective. I really, I like it. I only got it for 20 bucks from a friend, so that's why I have it on here. Um, this is bolt action single shot. So you raise the bolt up, you push it back, load the pellet right there in the tray. You push the bolt forward and then push it down and you're ready to fire as long as you got air pressure enough. Right here is your safety. Um, right now it is on safe. Now it is off. Back on safe. Trigger. Trigger's pretty good. I've heard a lot of people say it sucks. It isn't the best trigger in the world, but I can definitely work with it. I it's not that bad as people say. Um Right here is my pellet holder. It looks pretty janked up, but it it works. It's not supposed to look pretty. I mean, it's made out of a rubber boot, so yeah. Um, but it's just Velcroed on. And I cut a hole down here for my pressure gauge. I'm sitting at about 17, 1800 PSI. Um, right here, the barrel brand is the barrel band is all the way up here before it's located right here I moved it all the way up here to uh, um, to stop barrel shifting because when it was back here the tip of the barrel would actually move left or right just I mean you wouldn't barely notice it but it would throw your shots off just a little bit so I moved it all the way up to the tip or towards the muzzle um, right here is the TKO muzzle brake in 22 this is a 22 caliber and uh, this is uh, fantastic. I absolutely love this. Um, the guys at TKO Muzzle Break did a fantastic job building this. Um, it's very, very strong and very sturdy. Um, so it definitely quiets the gun about 60 to 70 percent. I would say it's very, very, very quiet. It definitely, if you're a big hunter like me, it's definitely worth buying. It's only 45 bucks. Um, the only downfall is you have to shave your fill nipple cap. Um, I shaved mine a little too much, but uh, yeah, so there's your fill nipple, that's what you hook your pump up to, kind of see that, you move this back, you slide it on, and that locks forward, it's just like paintball, if those of you that paintball, it's the same fill nipple as paintball. Um, there we go. So yeah, there's that. Um, this is a fantastic gun. Um, I know the big, 
for those of you who um, are into pellet guns, I'm sure you have this conversation with your friends all the time. You know, your friends say, oh, why, why are you wasting your money on a pellet gun and stuff? And, you know, why are you doing this and stuff? It's just a kid's toy or, you know, this is not a kid's toy, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you this. I'm hitting pop cans out at 80 yards, no problem with this thing. This thing can shoot almost more accurately than my actual 22 lever or 22 lung rifle uh, powder burner. This thing is amazing. This thing, this thing is very, very powerful. I think it comes in around 20, an average of around 25 foot-pounds of energy, which is quite a bit. Um, still a, a lever, or a, a long rifle, I don't know why I keep saying lever. A long rifle does shoot a little bit harder, like higher foot-pounds foot for energy. Um, but uh, this still has a lot of power, so treat it like a real firearm. Um but this is, like I said, I'm able to hit pop cans no problem at 80 yards. Um, right here is my uh, my tackle box or toolbox I use. I got my range card in there. You can see right there at 80 yards I have a 4.25 mil dot holdover, which is pretty pretty high. It's pretty cool too. Um, I use the uh, Chair Gun Pro software. I have all my pellet pouch and all kinds of stuff in there. I have my pellets. Uh, top row right here is 177, and second row right there is a 22 caliber. I have cleaning accessories, and the last two are just random stuff I have. Um, definitely, if you're a big hunter like me, one of the uh, one thing you really need to get is a bipod. Uh, I went to my local Bass Pro Shops and I was able to pick up this nice bipod. It's made by BOG Gear. Um, it's got a 360 degrees uh, rubberized swivel head and uh, Nerf handles for comfortability, a lock-in uh, leg, plastic piece for travel, and a three-stage adjustable leg adjustment. Uh, rubberized uh, feet so you can get good grip. Uh, really, really nice bipod. Definitely worth buying um, if you're a hunter. You want those long, steady shots. But uh, so uh, about some pros and cons of this gun. After I've kind of showed you all the accessories and stuff, the pros: of this gun is definitely really accurate. I've owned quite a few Springers, um, cheap ones, not nothing worth competing with this gun. So I guess I can't really say spring guns can't compete with this if you spend good money on some spring guns you can um, but uh, it's an excellent gun it's a uh, some pros it's got a gorgeous finish really really good quality um, shoots really good smooth it's accurate um, it's just it, it no recoil it's just it's a very very nice gun and it's pretty efficient uh, I think I get about 20 maybe 25 good shots off between 2,000 and 1,000, excuse me. Um, 2,000 and 1,000 PSI, I always refill it at 1,000. Um, so some of the cons would be the trigger. I mean, although it is still manageable, it's it could use some work. I wouldn't say it sucks, but it, it could use some work. Um, let's see here. Boy, that's kind of kind of hard. Um, hmm, I can't think of any other cons really, except for that it is a little bit loud without the TKO muzzle brake, it is loud, but that was easily solved by the TKO muzzle brake. Um, I would think a, a con would be maybe a magazine, I really wish, like the Marauder, they give you a 20 round or 25 round magazine, I really wish this came with a magazine. Um, single shot tray is alright, but... I mean, if you're if you can have a way to hold more than one shot, uh, that would just be awesome. But uh, also another barrel band would have been nice. But other than that, the pros definitely outweigh the cons. I absolutely love this gun. Um, I use it for starlings. Actually, I call it the Silent Starling Slayer with the TKO muzzle blade because I've blasted so many starlings with this thing, and they don't even hear it. 
And uh, about 40 yards, no problem. Just next shot after next shot. But, uh, yeah, so this is definitely a great gun for hunting. And for even paper punchers out there, it's definitely be a great gun for you. So thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions, please just comment. And uh, I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Just uh, So uh, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Have fun out there in the field.